Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. So in my previous videos about the Harbor Freight fixture table, we cut one apart, we fixed it, we showed you how bad it was welded, showed you how to fix it, showed you some of the problems with that. In this one, we're going to actually redesign the frame so it actually holds. I'm going to show you why that's a good idea and how simple it is and real measurements and everything and just easy to understand. So let's get to it. So here's my table. I have used the heck out of this thing and I don't regret buying it one bit. You know, I'm, I am glad that I reset the frame so it was straight. And I'm sorry it's taken so long to get this video series wrapped up on this table, but I'm kind of glad it did because it's given me a chance to find another issue that really needs to be addressed. Let me show you what I found. It's going to it's kind of forced me to change the design of the table. Okay, so let's talk about this table. So the first thing I found is there's only 11 bolts to hold it down. What I'm finding is these clamps provide as much up force as down force when we're, we're clamping our material. So first thing I did was I got these flange knots, which give a little bit more surface contact underneath now with the frame design and this isn't bolted down just for demonstration the way this frame is designed it has a huge open area right here and right here and there's nothing holding that top down when i apply a lot of clamp force and the top only being about four millimeters thick doesn't have enough rigidity to it or structural integrity to keep it from flexing what can we do to fix that and how much is it really going off let me show you I made a couple uh, made a wooden frame just put some uh, expanded steel mesh on it and you can actually see it a little bit more what I mean okay so I've got my wood frame that I mocked up the exact same dimensions three quarters by inch and a half uh, material that the frame's made of, just wood, just simple, simple fly. I've got it clamped down in the original frame, and I've got it screwed down in the same configuration that the Harbor Freight table is screwed down. So the and I'm just going to put a little bit of up force on this, and we're going to see how much flex we get. I don't have a way to measure like the force I'm applying. But I'm using one finger. And it's moving a lot. So this is going to move more than the top, obviously, but just for demonstration's sake. But also the clamps are going to put a lot more force on the top than me and my one finger pull is. So this design is destined to fail, really. But this, you can make it so much better. And let's do that, okay? Okay, so the original bolt holes were right weird places. Okay, so that's not going to work for it. What is going to work? We're going to keep this one, that one, that one. That's about it. We're basically going to take all these. We're going to we're going to view it as eight individual squares or rectangles. So every corner is going to get a fastener. That is going to distribute the load a lot more freely. A lot more evenly, a lot more secure.
Okay, got that all set up. Put the uh, Spanish steel on there. New frame design. Clamps in place with a couple of screws, but otherwise screws where they need to go. And let's give it a test. So I'm seeing definitely less movement and I'm actually picking up the assembly doing it. And it's much more localized. So it's not going to go past the fastener is what I mean by that. Um, and this uh, really thin gauge expanded steel is probably not the best test, but it's a good visual representation of what I'm talking about. Um, I think this is where we're going to go for sure. Okay. We've got the gauge set up. Got it set up pretty well, I think. I'm going to move that a little bit better. So this is going to simulate, well, it's going to apply clamping force to that. <clears throat> when it does that, <clears throat> you're going to get to see how much flexation this plate has. And it just keeps going. So. That's the problem. In fact, it stayed a little off too. So. Clamping is actually going to bend our tables. All right. Yeah, I was kind of surprised by that too. Um, not only did I show it flexing, I showed it staying out of spec. It stayed bent, really. A uh, couple thousands, not much, but enough over time where it's going to be problematic. So I'm really glad we're going to do this redesign. And just as a comparison's sake, this is a one by two tubing comparable to what they're using for the frame except this is it's just a little bit larger but about the same thickness of material and what we're going with is a solid cold rolled uh inch and a half by three quarters same as the original frame dimensions just a solid piece of steel we're getting rid of the nuts on the bottom of the bolts we're going to thread them through and through so you have to worry about the nuts loosening up, even though they are nylock. Um, you know, we can set the torque that we want to. Uh, we can make sure they're flat against the top, unlike the pitched frame that was in the original design. So it's going to be fun. It's not only going to change the quality of work that you can do, uh, straightness and true level. It's also going to increase the longevity of the, of the unit, uh, not being bent up by the clamp force and whatnot and uh i'm really excited to see what we can do with this and how this new frame design turns out so guys i appreciate you stopping by appreciate you hearing me out give me a like give me a thumbs up give me a comment how about you throw me an email um you know i respond to everything i want to hear your feedback i want to get all the information you can from you uh, if you want to see something in particular something i missed something you just like me to go over, let me know. We'll get that done. So again, thank you everyone. Take care.